let's be 100 here. I mean, Android users, if you have an Android phone, you probably have an iPad. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So this is the M5 uh, by Huawei, and this is not the pro version. This is just the regular M5. This one is gonna run you 360 bucks on Amazon. The link is in the description if you so choose to purchase one. This has the Kirin 960 inside. It's got a 2K Ultra Vision display with a 2.5D curved glass. That's 2560 by 1600. It's got quad Harman Kardon tuned speakers. Uh, and this is a space gray version. Uh, 64 gigs uh, built into this thing with four gigs of RAM, Android uh, 8.0. So, you know, I've been using this for three weeks. Uh, I gave you a first impressions about th just about three weeks ago. And I don't think I posted any more videos. And I just, I don't think I, I don't think I did, but I just started using this thing. Kept it by my bedside and use it and use it and use it. So first thing I wanna start with uh, are the speakers. Now the speakers on here may be tuned by Harman Kardon. Uh, just kind of think of Samsung saying they're tuned their headset by AKG. Take that with, for, with a grain of salt. Um, this thing has the speakers coming out this way. Um, why they're not facing you, I have no clue. Uh, but they're not facing you, they're coming out the back of the, the tablet, which became really annoying after a while. Um, there's no headphone jack on here. And it's that, you know, I'm not, I don't have to have a headphone jack, but on a tablet, it was super weird because it has type C and it has a type C adapter. So if you look along the back here, you've got your, your, your volume and power and your SD card slot and the type C right there. Then you got these speaker grills, a docking station, the camera, and that's it. That's it. And on the front here, and you got the camera obviously on the back, but on the front you got the fingerprint reader, which works pretty pretty good, and you got the front facing camera, and then you have the, the 2K display. So, you know, regular uses with this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it 100 and tell you, do not get rid of your iPad Pro. Um, just don't get rid of your iPad for that matter. Um, Android tablets are just not there, man. Google is is gonna have to do something because other OEMs that are releasing Android tablets, they're just not as good as the iPad Pro. I've actually ditched my iPad Pro before for, for another uh, Android tablet and then I ended up going back to it really fast. I was like, uh, uh I can't do this. There's this, even though this is running a Kirin 960, there's just this sluggishness about it. I don't, I don't know what it is. Something about it just, it's just not as smooth and fluid and as snappy uh, as iOS. And you know, that's just something that I, my personal experience, that's how I feel about it. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm just not impressed with Android tablets to the point where I would give up an iPad for them. Um, even in, in the Kirin 960 is a powerhouse processor, but in a tablet, I feel like Android doesn't have enough things that'll, make it feel like a tablet. Now this particular tablet uh, uh, has desktop mode. So, but how often are you gonna wanna use desktop mode? You know, your workflow is, will be good, but if you're getting a tablet, you're really not getting a tablet to be in work mode. You're getting it for play and media consumption. And while this tablet does do well with media consumption, um, it's, it's a good tablet, but the performance of it kills it for me because um, when you start to load it down, it really gets sluggish in doing certain things. And that's very disappointing because it's running the Kirin 960. Uh, and you know, it's got this beautiful display, huge battery in here. I think it's 7,500 battery life is off the charts, but I'll get to some positives. It's not, it's not all bad. I'm just telling you the things that I really just will make me not want to buy this over an iPad. Um, so <sighs> the performance on here, is nowhere near, and it's not just this tablet, there's Android's tablets, I have several tablets, they're just not as fluid, and the, the it feels like a blown up Android apps, I can't really put it into words, not the best experience for a tablet. Um, I'm not impressed with the speakers like I thought I was gonna be, because they're on the back of the tablet, and you know, I'm holding it like this, playing games and stuff like that, and watching content, and it's coming out the other way. That doesn't make any sense to me. They could put them on the edges, anything, just to make it come this way. It's so weird to have the speakers coming out of the back of the tablet. I, and that's, it's, that's not something that we've never seen before. It's just kind of weird that that's the way this is set up. 
it's kind of strange because these are tuned by Harmon Carden, but they're coming out of the back of this. Uh, the it's just freaking weird. So I found that I really don't care for the speakers as much as I thought I would. The performance is not where I thought it was going to be. Now let me end this review on a positive note. The cameras were actually pretty decent. So um, I'll show you some footage from this from this tablet uh, right now. Uh, and then we'll come back and close out this review on a good positive note because there's a lot of strengths to this tablet uh, So let's do that All right guys, here's video footage from the rear camera on the uh, new tablet from Huawei. This is the 13 megapixel camera shooting in 4k Beautiful sunny day out. It's really hot out here, but it's pretty beautiful out All right, so what did you think about the camera footage? I think the cameras on this thing perform really, really good. I, 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 I could use this, uh, this, these cameras on here um, to record. It's, it's good. This is a bulky item, but it's still the cameras can do well at recording. That's just a fact. Um, another thing I like about this is the battery life. Now the battery life on this thing lasts for days and days and days. Um, with heavy usage, you can easily pull down um, 10, 11, 12 hours. Um, there's my screen on time. Better usage, hardware. See how slow this is, loading this? It's just so disappointing, man. Uh, so screen on time, I'm at almost five hours. And um, I still have 40% uh, left. And uh, let me check the idle time tablet idle. It's probably been a couple days. Well, it says 185 hours uh, that I've been on this, but just that sluggishness, you know, because what I've been using this for is bedside media and web browsing. So the battery will last you for days and days and days uh, with heavy media consumption, because those five hours probably came in an in hour increments, you know, uh, before I fell asleep. So um, this, is, this is definitely something that can consume media in a good way. Uh, so, but coupled with that beautiful screen, you just can't get the, the you gotta crank the volume way up to get something. Now, like most type, most items, you gotta crank it up. Uh, but with this, they're going the wrong way. The speakers are going the wrong way. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, but battery life is great. Um, could be, and lots of media consumption can be done. Hardware is another place where this thing shines. This is a beautiful tablet. It's, it's just gorgeous. It's 2.5D and curved all around. Uh, so it's a gorgeous tablet. Uh, and I think you would definitely be pleased with the hardware on here. Uh, they got this Harman Kardon branding down here. And that's just to show you, hey, you know, we tuned this with Harman Kardon, but um, you know, it's a good look. The hardware is really good. This is um, a $360 uh, purchase that you may or may not want to pick up. Um, you know, I don't know that telling you to buy the pro version will even help because it actually has the same processor inside. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't know that telling you that will, will, because you know, it has pen support, uh, and, and you know, the pen is included and, you know, it's a different sleek color and everything. Um, but I don't know, man. Um, this is actually a, a nice tablet. Uh, but like I said at the beginning of the video, don't get rid of your iPad just yet. Uh, Android tablets to me are just not there yet. And even this brand new uh, Huawei MediaPad M5. Remember, I bought the other Huawei. I have the small Huawei's too. You know what I'm saying? I bought the MediaPad X1 when nobody was really rocking with it. Uh, and I still have it actually. It's down below me. So this is a good tablet, but I definitely can't recommend it over an iPad yet. As powerful as that 960 processor is, it just feels like a slouch in this tablet. It's just, I'm just keeping it 100. I, I know you'll see other reviews that probably say this tablet is fantastic. It's a good tablet, but the performance isn't there yet. Um, the speakers aren't as exciting and loud as I thought they were going to be. There are, there's a full sound, uh, but you know, I would say save your money and just go ahead and get a, a different uh, tablet, you know, the, the, I, I, would, I would definitely say just get an iPad, you know, because most people have uh, an Android phone or an iPhone uh, and an iPad. So I'm not pro Apple or anything like that. I just, let's just be 100 here. I mean, Android users, if you have an Android phone, you probably have 
an iPad. You don't have an Android tablet. <laughs> I mean, because Google abandoned us on this, this front right here. Google should have stuck with the Nexus tablets and brought us something great. Instead, they jacked up the prices on all the Nexus devices. Ugh, sucks so bad. Anyway, man, this isn't a bad tablet, but the form performance isn't to my liking to where I would want to get rid of my iPad Pro. It's not going to happen. So, uh, quick review, hands-on, uh, three weeks later with this tablet. Am I going to get rid of it? Of course not, you know. I would do a giveaway, probably. I don't know. Um, but... Um, this is actually a, a, a decent tablet. It's just not, the performance just isn't there. So, it's your man J. Will. Uh, I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Be sure to uh, hit the link in the description if you decide to pick this up. Uh, and um, stay tuned for more videos. I'll give you a follow-up video on this one if some software updates or anything come out. Take care.